Hey guys, it's Jeff. Time for part 22 of the DOSWorks 8.8 centimeter off 90 full mag in 135th scale. Got lots more parts to put on that gun. <clears throat> Just a little update. Everything went well at the doctor's yesterday, so uh, basically keep doing what I'm doing and see you in a year. So that was that was good. Alrighty, let's go down the bench and see if we can't get a little more of this gun done. Okay, be right back, thanks. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's still lots of pieces for the gun. Um, some of these pots only contain one or two pieces. It just depends on the step. Some of them contain a fair number of them. But uh, here's the carriage. Um, I did put the photo etch on off camera. I'll, I'll show you closer. And I filled this seam underneath here. Um, I'll show you again when I get it down closer. Here's the barrel and some of the other parts here all ready to go. So let's take a quick look at the instructions and you'll see where we're at. And then we'll get to doing some building, okay? All right, this is step 28. And it's completed. The only part I had left was this little piece of photo etch over here. And that's all been done. Um, H20, I've got one piece there that I lost. I'll have to try and scratch build something to put on there. But we've still got these three little pieces. And there's one little piece here. And a piece here. And then three more, four more here. Something like that. And then we have just a few more, you know, where the parts that are green are all done. <clears throat> or at least the sub-assemblies are put together. So we'll continue on down. That's the base of the, the mount. Um, one thing I noticed here, and I don't know for sure what I'm going to do yet, but I think this has to do with the elevation. Uh, it's these cylinders that go over here. They give you an option to either use M20. I know these are kind of really lightly drawn. M20 or M3 and M4. Or excuse me, M2 or M3 and M4. Which makes up into a lot longer cylinder. I. It'd be nice if they put over here, you know, this was used for this and that was used for that. But there's nothing there, so... I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with the M2. That seems to be what I see in the rest of the buildup. Another thing I noticed, um, the way they've got these cylinders, um, they connect back here and they connect here. But this is not a circle. It's like a, it's just a, it's like a fork that this would sit in. There's nothing to keep it there. So when you elevate the gun or move it, it's just going to fall out. So I may have to come up with some way of of getting that. I, I want to make them to where they can rotate so the gun can go up and down. But I don't want to, you know, uh, redo the whole part if I can help it. But we'll figure something out. I'll show you when we get down to the bench. All right, let, let's see if we can't get something put together. Okay, uh, I guess this is called the gun carriage. I'm, I'm not real sure. There's the piece of photo etch that I went ahead and put in on. And it actually sticks out back past the end. So you real careful. That's really going to be really easy to bend or knock off. And then underneath here, they had more of those molded in uh, rivets with seam lines running right through the middle of them. It looked terrible. I, I tried to scrape everything and clean them up, but it just didn't look good. And then I had that seam there too, so I sanded the rivets off and I filled it. I could go back and recreate the rivets later. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But that looks a lot better than what we had. Okay, so there's where we are now. When you got this all together correctly, this little gear in here, they, they should mesh together. You can see that they move together. This is what I was talking about with these cylinders. You can see there's a little fork there. 
that these are supposed to sit in. They'll sit back this direction. But there's nothing to keep them there. So they're, the, the ram for the back is going to come back and connect here. But as we move the gun up and down, well, it's not going to change that much. Maybe it'll be all right to glue those in. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I thought that was kind of strange that, you know, they just sit in there. They, they weren't actually captive. But we'll figure it out here in a little bit. Alrighty, let me make sure I keep all my parts straight. For right now, I want to work on this. i got a few more pieces to add to this. <clears throat> on the top here, there's some pieces. And I did lose one of them, so I'll have to do something with that. Let me um, blow my directions up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Get some tools out here. On the top of here, we've got um, this will go here. This is H3. It'll set like that. Put a little. Okay, and then we've got H19 goes on the end here. I'm trying to. These parts are so tiny. Let's make sure I'm looking at the right piece. This will be H19 right here. Okay. It'll go in this end here. Okay. Then we've got this little. Well, hang on a minute. Is it H48 that I lost? This is H20 right here. Okay, maybe I lost a different part. There's a little crank that goes in here. Well, that's interesting. This should actually be turned. And there's another crank that goes in there. That doesn't make sense having a crank in front of a crank. Yeah, we'll see what we can do here. get it to turn loose. Okay. There's just a little bit of the mold seam still on there and I'll come along later and I'll sand it. Let me look here. Okay, this, I'm just trying to make really sure I don't mess up. That H48, uh, I'm not sure about. So we'll move, move along here a little bit. Okay, and we've got L38. Where does that go? Mm. Hmm. I'm 
Sorry guys, I should be better prepared. I've got an H38. I think, okay. They give you the drawing like this and they give you an arrow. And it says, just points up. But if you look under here, there's a little hole and I'm thinking that that's where it goes. That's the way the instructions are. <clears throat> I'm thinking it goes with that away, pointing away from the center line. Like that. I'm guessing. Instructions are not helping at all. Okay, that's got that on there. Let's go ahead and go up here. We got L31. Which is this. And it will go this way. Right here. Okay. a little more to the other side. Okay, that's got that. I'm just double checking my pictures in here all the time. Then we've got health Okay, let's put that down for a minute and we'll go to here. L32. We'll go here. That's... <laughs> this is really tricky. They don't give you... Very good drawings. This goes here. That just doesn't. Okay. Like it goes here. There's a little pin on that. I think I got it. That's the way that goes. Okay, and I'll put pictures up. Really, really tricky. Okay. This will go here. Like this. I believe. And this will go here.
Okay. Very tricky. Okay, that's the way that goes. Let me uh, look ahead in instructions and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, uh, that completed step 29, all except for that one small missing part. Um, next thing I want to do on step 30, I did have to drill this hole out, if you remember from before. This will go in here. Okay, this will set over the barrel. And there's a couple of holes that these will go into. Let's see if you can see what I'm trying to do. Very fragile. Last thing I want to do is break something. Maybe I can go down a little farther here. There we go. Okay, and those will glue in these little holes here. And this will just be centered here. And then this will go... will glue right here on the barrel. Okay. So let's see if we can't get... That's going to be about centered. It doesn't give you any real locating pins, locating marks, or anything like that. sides in. Well, I'm going to have to do this kind of both at the same time. Way too much glue. Okay. That'll center this forward and back. Put a dog hair in there. And then this I just need to center Oops, that's not in the right place. Like this needs to go forward just a little bit. Okay, both of those are in, and this needs to be lined up. And that goes over that. goes here. Okay, that's got that. And then we have this will go here with the little square slot forward. delicate all the time. This will go on top facing to the side.
very delicate. Okay, and then to crown all that off, we have one more little piece. It'll go here. There it is. Okay. I'm going to let all this stuff dry for a little while. And then I'll come back and we'll see if we can get a little more done. Okay, see you in a little bit. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. What we just did completes step 30. Okay. This has had just a little while to firm up. It's still not completely dry. But let's go ahead and move on. Now in, in 31, I've made up some of the pieces, uh, but they're not attached yet. So what we need to do, if I'm looking at this correctly, this will go through here. Okay, like this, I keep bumping this, so that goes there, and then this will go in front of it, okay, like this. Try and keep all that straight. And this has kind of a half moon. The, the end of it is keyed. And this has got the opposite right here. So they're, they're keyed a little bit. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue there. Let's see if we can't get these to set about where we want them. Okay. Seems to droop a little bit. Just trying to make them look straight to each other. There. leans out hmm okay looks about right and then this The, this here we made up the other day except for these little parts here and I, I added those a little while ago they're still a little bit soft extremely tiny and it'll go yes here <laughs> just kind of hangs there in midair Okay.
just like that. Trying to make sure it all looks straight. Should be lined up with the with the bore of the gun. Okay. All right. I'm gonna just let this stuff set. And uh, we'll pick it up next time. I've got a lot of real fragile parts here that I could knock out of place real quick. As usual, I'll put some pictures up. See this here? I think I moved. I'm sure I moved. Alright, I'll have to fix that off camera. This is supposed to go up here. A little higher. I'll have to glue it back in place. Alrighty, I'll, I'll fix it and I'll show you in the pictures. But that's going to about do it for today, guys. Okay, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Okay?